everyone and in this video we are going to discuss about the QPSK wave generation as the explanation is a bit complex I designed the circuit earlier only to make the time of the video as small as possible the circuit may look a bit complex but if you know the theory behind this how it is operating then you can remember it easily and you can design on your own one should know that the QPSK wave means that it is called as quadrature phase shift king where you can see that four different angles that is plus 45 degrees in the first quadrant and plus 135 degrees that will be in the second quadrant for different bit combinations that we usually call as symbols that is for 0 0 it is called as one symbol and 0 1 other symbol and other two possibility cases that is 1 0 and 1 1 for all for all set of symbols that is for each symbol there will be a certain phase shift in the wave so that's we represent here in these four blocks and I will show you how we can change these values here one should notice that this is a random sequence generator that you all know that this this can be obtained by right click and going to numeric here you can see that num random number generator from there you can take this block and this is also from the comparison that is greater than or equal so if I got random values from here then here I will get the bit combinations like 0 if I got 0 and here also 0 that will be one symbol that is 0 0 and as these are two spaces or two bits so we, are, we will get all the four combinations possible so I am giving an array connection to that the array can be taken from the control the other block that is the, from the front panel there you have to here you have to uh, right click on uh, array and from there you have to take an array here from this then you if you place the boolean round LED then you will get as here for the while loop I have given a const constant as 4 so I will get a 4 bit data you can give 8 also then you will get 8 bit data so here by placing two arrays I can see the data that is generated there that is whether 1 1 or 1 0 or 0 1 or 0 0 all the four possible cases I can check there now the circuit is as simple as you have to take three end gates that will be obtained from here that is boolean the end gate and the not gate all we used in the circuit will be from the same boolean so for the first end gate the both input should be as usual that is the directly this data bit will go and uh, from second data bit also will directly go and for the last and get this will be a negation of only second second data bit that is the data bit will be inverted and sent to both the inputs this is same and for the middle and get that the input should be directly the bit from the first bit generated and the negation of the, the or the inverted of the second bit will be fed as input to the second NAND gate so from these NAND gates you create a select that will be obtained from numeric and you can that is from comparison I think so here you can see the select so from this if you place three select inputs now let us analyze how the angle shift we should mention so let me take here first I obtained 0 0 then the output of the first AND gate will be 0 and for the second end gate it will be 0 and for the third end gate it will be high so uh, for the select input if the input is high then the upper angle will be propagated so here we will get here upper angle as here it is low the lower angle is connected fr from the uh, output of this select so you will directly propagate it to the output so the angle that we place here will give the combination of 0 0 and let me take this as plus 135 degrees from the theory that we have studied earlier in the QPSK wave in the digital communications so now for the second bit combination that is 0 1 if suppose we got here 0 1 then the output of this will be 0 and the output of this will be 0 which means the select gate will uh, or the select uh, will propagate its output that is connected in the lower end so I will get the output uh, this is also 0 so this lower angle which I kept will get at the output uh, throughout this path it will travel like this to this phase in input I will explain this block later so uh, for the 0 1 combination what angle I used to obtain should be written here that is minus 135 degrees and uh, similarly for other two cases that is 1 0 if you take 1 0 the output of this will be 0 so the lower will, one will be propagated and the output of this one will be high so upper one will be propagated so no need to check the last case for this so clearly for 1 0 you can write this that is 
plus 45 degrees and for 1 1 the last case that is left so we have to write this as minus 45 so you can see that for all the four possible symbols we are getting each different angles that is minus 45 plus 45 plus 135 and minus 135 depending on the carrier you are giving whether 90 degrees phase shifted or not you can change this angles approximately or uh, the values which you have obtained in the experiment that you have done so now as these are the phase changes that are going to be observed in the sinusoidal wave here i am giving the control for the signal type as a create you have to create here a constant from that you have to select a sinusoidal wave and as these are the phase changes i am giving this input to the phase in block and for the wave waveform chart you have to go to the other panel and here you have to create a wave a graph from that you have to select the waveform chart and if you place there then the circuit will be connected now you can observe the output here that is you can see that he these are the two bit combinations that is 10 0 0 0 are the four different cases now i am going to scale my x axis that is auto scale x axis x scale i am using auto scale so now if i select for different cases here you can see the phase shift is according to the input that you have given that is whether it is minus 45 or plus 45 or plus 180 here you can see this is plus 135 and these are the different possible phase shifts that you have given here as since it is the random bit sequence generator the main it may be difficult to observe the phase change exactly but you can get the feel that there are phase changes for every data bit that is occur different that you can see that all the four possible cases covered in this equation or in this format you can see that uh, 10 11 00 and 01 so you can see all the different four possible phase shifts are observed here so that we, we can get the feel that actually the uh, circuit you design is working properly in the lab view so in this way you can see that uh, the qpsk wave is generated as simple as possible by using a basic three and gates and uh, two data bit generators and a select inputs and a signal generation and duration block this block is signal generation and duration block that you can obtain from signal processing and signal generation and here you can see that signal generation and duration block so i think this is the simplest way to do the qpsk generation in the lab using lab view and this is the only simplest way there may be other ways to generate the qpsk wave but this is uh, simplest among them and that's all for this video and see you in the next one